Let's go outside. The snow is falling down, and every child is having so much fun. A snowman is twice the size as me, with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other warm while we stand and watch a choir perform, and all the Christmas songs that we love. Yeah, all the Christmas songs that we love. And in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire. Cause all I want is to spend this day with you. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here. My name is Jessie. Today y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and decorate for Christmas. I'm so excited. So we are putting up the tree today and I'm decorating the living room. So I have so much to do today. First, I'm starting out with the Christmas tree. My family loves to help. This is something we do every year. We love to get the head kids to involved during the tree decorating. Um, I really do all the other decorating, but my oldest is too old for the Christmas tree, he feels. So he didn't come and help, but my youngest was there and he was involved putting ornaments on the tree and just getting the tree set up. So the beginning of this video is just going to be us putting the tree up and decorating the tree and then I'm going to go ahead and give you a tour of all of the decorations in my living room as well as in my kitchen. So if y'all are ready, let's get to it. Give you a Christmas a moment will fill with love and joy. Mm -mm, so beautiful kissing on a mistletoe, baby with you. I don't need any presents as long as I spend this day with you. Mm -mm, so beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe, baby, with you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Making plans, for what we're gonna do? I feel so blessed that I can be with you. Cause God knows that I've been longing for ya. I just wanna hold you close. You know the stars. Shining just for you, let's take a walk And we can follow the moonlight Till we reach a place we can stay Maybe kiss a bit and dream away And in a while we're gonna go inside And drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment will fill with love to spend this day with you let me give you a christmas a moment will fill with love and joy love and it's a beautiful kissing on a mistletoe baby with you with you with i don't you. need any presents as long as i spend this day All right, y'all, so this is how the tree looks. Ignore the ceiling. We have not painted the ceilings yet, but oh my gosh, y'all, I am loving how this Christmas tree looks. I totally changed up the ornaments this year, and I just wanted a different look, and I totally achieved that. I'm loving how everything looks, and oh my gosh, y'all, when we were at Walmart, we found the cutest um, ornaments. They were white, and they were distressed. They would have looked so beautiful, and I was going to get them, but they were glass, and it's just so hard for me to keep up with the glass ones because they break so easy, and plus I have pets and kids. It's just not a good mix, so I decided to go ahead with the plastic ones, but I really like how it all turned out. So now I'm just going to go ahead and give it a quick vacuum, so anything that has fallen during decorating the tree, I can vacuum that up really quick, and then I'm going to get the tree skirt put on.
y'all so that is how the tree looks it came out super beautiful I love all of the ornaments on there I love the new garland it all ties together very nicely I do plan on getting some white lights and then putting them inside of that star so we could have light in that star as well because I don't like how um, it doesn't light up and the rest of the tree does so I definitely am planning on doing that but I do love the star I think it's just really cute um, it, it just ties in with the tree very well so everything looks so cute so I love this tree and you know I was thinking about actually getting a new tree something bigger because I do have room to scoot this over but y'all I do plan on having a fireplace built right here my husband is going to be doing a, um, a built-in so um, eventually the TV is going to be on the wall and we'll have a fireplace right here so I'm not going to be able to move that out of the way so I was thinking I'll just keep my tree um, and eventually either get one that's kind of similar but smaller or one just like it and have it on this side of the fireplace I think that would be really cute um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm going to go ahead and keep it for now. I'm, I don't know how things are going to go after the fireplace, you know, is built in. But I think I'll just wait until the fireplace is built before we decide on um, that. But for right now, I'm going to keep it. It's just, it's just so cute. Alright, so now moving on to the entertainment center. Y'all, I was having such a hard time trying to place everything. I hope it all looks good. Um, if you have any suggestions, let me know. But this is how everything came out. And I think it's just cute. Um, but yeah, y'all. So here next to this galvanized little house, y'all, um, that I just keep on my shelf, I decided to go ahead and put this wooden Christmas tree. This is so cute. I don't have a lot of glittery stuff, but this was so cute. Um, it has gold glitter, and it is a wooden Christmas tree. I love the fact that it had wood. If it did not have the wood on there, I probably wouldn't have gotten it, but it's just so cute. So I just put that right next to the galvanized house and I do have that green greenery and I do have that green plant in the back just giving it a pop of color and on this side y'all I had to put Santa he fits under there so cute so I just let Santa sit there in his rocking chair and next to him I put this cute little green ceramic Christmas tree with has some white snowflakes it's just so cute so I just put that right next to Santa I thought this was so cute you know when kids go to take pictures with Santa you would see kind of a setup like that so that's why I kind of did that I thought that was so cute and next to that y'all very simple I just have this red truck with a green Christmas tree on top and this is the um, truck that I have and I use this for the countdown to Christmas days for my son but I actually have an extra one that I picked up I did not remember I had this so this is just gonna be decoration and then I will be using the other one with my son so let me go ahead and show you that one but this is how all of the entertainment center looks I think it looks cute I don't really go overboard y'all I was looking for a garland to go up here so I do plan on finding one to put up there I think it definitely needs it that would look so cute but I just don't want to go too crazy I don't really like when I have so much stuff it just gives me anxiety really bad so I just try to do the, the minimum. So I ended up moving my snake plant to this side. I like how it looks here. And right above that is where I put the Christmas countdown. Now I think this is so cute y'all. I picked this up at Dollar Tree. It was like three bucks. And it has this little wreath. And it just slides into these slots y'all. And you know my son can just move them to the days. So he can count down the days to Christmas. I thought that was so cute. So I just put it right there and it is kind of low that way he can reach it. That way he can count down the days to Christmas. I think this is so cute. And look who decided to come lay on the entertainment center. Hi Binks. This is our cat Binks. We call him Binky. Well I call him Binky. We usually call him Binky. 
and this is my son's cat and he's always with my son or outside so y'all hardly get to see him but he's still here he's just a big old baby a sweet baby he's seen mama filming so he decided to come and hang out with me while I filmed <laughs> All right, y'all, so moving on now to the coffee table. I love this, the way it looks. I think it's just so cute. So um, I got this lantern, y'all, at Walmart. It was so cute. I love the galvanized metal. Um, so what I decided to do here, instead of just putting a candle in there, I put some of these pine cones in there along with some Christmas ornaments. I think they're so cute. Now these pine cones, y'all, smell like cinnamon. They smell really good. And the top is open. So you can just smell that cinnamon and it just smells so good over here. I also paired it with this book stack. It is the one that I got from Walmart. It is so cute. It says North Pole, 25 cents, candy canes. And I just love the red and white bow. It just brings another pattern and color to the area. And I love it. And I also put my beads here. And I also put this flower arrangement here, y'all. I think this is cute. I made this, I think, last year out of Dollar Tree items. And, you know, everything here was dollar from Dollar Tree. Let me show you the vase. It's white. And it has some glitter on there some red glitter just to make it a little more festive um i was just playing around and i made it but i really think it looks cute here so i just left it here and i love how everything just ties together so nicely all right y'all so we are going to head to this area right here now now i love this little area too it's so cute so up there, I used to have my welcome sign there, but I took it down and I replaced it with this big red ornament. I love it so much. I love the red color. I love the greenery on there. I just love it so much. It just looks so cute. So I just put it up there. I thought it would be cute. Um, something different for sure. So, hey, I just had an idea and I went with it, but I really like it. So that is a new addition to my home this Christmas. So right here, y'all, I decided to put Santa. I love the Santa. It's so cute. Um, he's got his list there and his presents. And then next to him, I decided to put the big red truck. I love the truck. It's so cute. And I didn't know what I was going to put in there. I was thinking the pine cones. And then I was thinking um, some ornaments. So um, I ended up putting the Christmas tree in it just to put it in there. And I loved it. So this Christmas tree, y'all, came from Walmart, and when I first got it, I wasn't planning on putting it in the, the truck when I bought them at the same time, too. But it's so cute. It is just, I guess, meant to just sit on your table. But I decided to just go ahead and put it in the back of this truck, and y'all, it just looks so cute. So it looks like the red truck hauling a Christmas tree. So I'm going to leave it. I think it looks cute. So that is how this little area turned out. All right, y'all. So we are going to move on to this area. I think I love this. I think this is like my favorite spot. I love how the colors tie in together so much. Um, so this is the snowflake that I got from Burlington. I do still need to glue the other pine cone on that side, but I will. Um, but this is how it looks. I love the snowflake so much. I couldn't leave the store without it and I'm so glad I decided to pick it up because I just love it so much. And I just left the windmill, um, the candle there I, and you know my signs and everything. I just added this sign right here it says believe in the magic of Christmas and then I paired it with this cute little Christmas tree here and this glass. I believe I got that at Dollar Tree for um, last year sometime for my tear tray but I have one of my tear trays so this one's gonna be here but yeah y'all this is so cute I really am pleased with how this area turned out right here I like all the decorations there so and then my other favorite thing here is my Christmas wreath I think it's so cute my favorite part is the rusted bells y'all it is so cute I really love it um, so yeah, y'all, here is the wreath. 
and on the back of the door I just have this big stocking here and it just says ho 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 I do plan on taping that part up so it actually can stay you know up and not fold it down like that but I thought it was really cute and just give a little bit of color to the back of the door all right y'all so moving on into the kitchen I love how the kitchen looks too it is very simple I don't I didn't go overboard in the kitchen either so here on the table y'all I have this boot I love this boot so much y'all I was looking for something different to put on my table this year and I seen it and I was like this is it I know it's probably different you may set it somewhere else but I just loved it so I decided okay it's just gonna go on my table so I love this piece it's so cute I love how um, it has the snow on the pine cones and the berries it's just so cute so that is what I put on my dining table. And here on my island, I didn't really do a whole lot. Um, I just kept it simple here because, you know, I do like to move these out of the way when I'm using the island. And I just don't want a lot of stuff there. So I like to keep my candles here because I burn my candles all the time. So I just put some pine cones here, y'all, and some ornaments just to give it some color and make it a little festive. But I am currently burning apple cookies and it smells super good, y'all. And moving on to this area back here, this is where I have the rest of the decorations. So right here on my counter, I just have this wooden sign that has some greenery and some beads. Y'all, I love this sign. I thought it was super cute. It says, wishing you a blessed Christmas. I had to have the sign when I seen it, so I just picked it up. And I just put this beautiful reindeer right next to it. This I got from Walmart. Um, and I thought it was so cute. Just bring a little bit of a pop of color to the kitchen. So I just set that right next to it. And here is the tear tray. I really love how everything looks on there too. I'm not a pro when it comes to decorating for holidays and stuff, but I really like how this turned out. It's just simple. And here on the stove top, I just have this metal snowman and a Santa. I really like them. I got those I don't know y'all years ago from Dollar Tree and I thought they were cute just to put over my stove or on the tear tray and I also have this greenery it was from Dollar Tree as well I still have my kitchen help wanted sign from Pioneer um, I'm debating on getting rid of those two y'all I'm, I'm kind of doing away with the Pioneer Woman stuff so as far as decorations and then I also have this sign over here this is the Christmas hat I love this this little sign is so cute and it says ho 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 so that is all that I've done in the kitchen all right y'all so that is how everything turned out I'm very pleased with everything I'm not completely done um, I think I want to just do a few more things but for the most part everything is out and decorated that's gonna help me so much I was gonna wait till after Thanksgiving y'all but it's just uh, I have so much to do. Um, I'm celebrating my son's birthday um, a couple days after Thanksgiving. And then a little bit after that, it's my son, my husband's birthday. And then we got to prepare for Christmas. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and decorate and get it out of the way. Um, but yeah, y'all, everything looks so cute. I do still plan on getting a nice garland um, for in front of the TV. I think that'll be really, really cute. I may get a little bit here and there to put in the bathrooms, especially in the my son's bathroom, you know, for, you know, for guests and stuff when we have guests over. I think that'll be cute just for them to enjoy I don't really do a whole lot I'm just this is new to me y'all like really decorating you know um, a big space because I didn't have a whole lot so I'm just trying to get everything in, you know in its spot and figure out what to put here it, it's a lot but it's fun so I'm excited and I do think I'm gonna get a little wreath to put in my window I think that would look really cute um, some Christmas lights to put underneath the cabinets. I think that would look really cute, but I'm excited y'all 
So we'll still have some more Christmas decorating to come. I'm not done, but for right now, this is how everything looks. Um, also, let me know what was your favorite decoration, what area, um, what, you know, where, where was your favorite. So I kind of like a lot. Like I said, the entryway, I think that was my favorite. Um, but I like a little bit of everything. I like it all. So it's kind of really hard to choose for me. But And I hope y'all are ready to get things ready for Christmas. Hopefully this video motivated you to start decorating for Christmas. So um, I love y'all so much. Thank you so much for your support. And I am so excited for the holidays. And I hope y'all are too. And I love y'all so much. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys on the next one. All right. Bye y'all. Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing